This is a fan production, done for entertainment purposes only. No attempt has been made to infringe or supersede any existing copyright in relation to Doctor Who, which remains the property of the British Broadcasting Corporation. This feature is made on a strict, non-profit-making basis. Strax, what are you doing? I'm, I'm preparing the house for the upcoming invasion, Mum. Invasion? What invasion? Mum, what are you talking about? I'm not sure, my love. Strax? Well, Mum, every year on the same day, I have been told that a man invades every house in the world. I believe he's, he's some god of some kind. If that happens, don't you think we'd know about it? Jenny, let him finish. Thank you. As I was saying, this god invades and rather than obliterating people, he leaves small tokens which could be some kind of trap. I believe I heard Thomas Thomas saying his name was St. Nicholas. So I have prepared booby traps to catch this creature and interrogate him. Strax, he's not a god or invading. Then. Why does he have these helpers? Helpers? Do you mean the elves? Elves? What are elves? Uh, well, they're little people that, um... They are not important, my love. Go on, Strax. Well, from my investigation, he has a reindeer who has a red nose. I mean, surely this would give him a tactical disadvantage and enable people to shoot him in the dark. Oh, God. Then there's this Jack Frost, who apparently makes the streets so icy, human scum fall over. Not to mention his little spies. What spies? It's a red robin who bobs along. Personally, I could use him as target practice. Have you been at the Sherbet Lemons again? Certainly not, miss. Mainly because Madam put them on a high shelf. Strikes enough. You will take these traps down immediately. But, madam... Strax, I don't want a repeat of the laser monkey incident. The smell of burnt walls has only just gone. Oh, very well. But I want permission to stay on guard on the night of the 24th of December. Christmas Eve? Yes, the date I'm told this invasion happens. There is no invasion. He isn't real. It's just a story told to children. Well, I'd like to stay up and prove it. And ask how he is able to invade without making a noise. It could prove a useful tool. Seriously, Mom, I think he's getting worse. He ran in yesterday saying he was under attack by an unknown force. And what was it? It was snow, Mom. Apparently he'd never seen it before. Ah, yes, I suppose not. Sontar isn't known for its snowfall. Just give him time and he will get used to it. At least now, when he makes your stew, the potatoes aren't raw when he puts them in. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Mum? Yes, my love? What if Strax is right, though? What if there really is a Father Christmas? In all my time on this planet, I have never seen any proof of this. But there are some things we just don't know. Yeah, I remember being told he only goes to good boys and girls. He has a list. Hardly ever came to me when I was younger. I'm sure he will come for you this year. Ain't I a bit old for that nonsense? Maybe, my dear, but you never know. I do hope Strax doesn't cause an accident tonight. Sudtown is the red carpet. Ah, what was that? I knew something wasn't right. Now, said Nicholas. What are you talking about? <laughs> Too 
large black boot. It fits coat. This fellow has a rather large belly. I'm surprised he fits down the chimney. Just a little closer. A bit more. Ah! Got you. Ho 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 ho! Well, if it isn't little Strax, the Sontaran! <laughs> How do you know me? I've never met you before. I know everyone, Strax! I also know, for example, your favourite sweets are sherbet lemons and you hate Parma violets. Ho ho ho! <laughs> yes, I can't stand those. See? I do know you! I also know that you lost your last plasma gun on your previous mission. Um, it's not my fault the creature ate my Well, I may have another one here in me sack just for you now. <laughs> ah, oh, is it for me? Oh, it's the latest model. <clears throat> well, um, yes, anyway, that doesn't excuse the fact you have broken into Paternoster Row, a feat. That should be impossible. Oh, my dear boy, nothing is impossible! So, you're not invading them? Good grief, no! Why would I invade? I'm not even taking things, I'm bringing presents to all these people! Uh, presents? <laughs> and what do you get in return? Nothing at all! It's the magic of crew! Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! Us Saint Nicks are scattered all across the galaxy. We give gifts to people on the worlds we inhabit once a year. So, there are more than one of you. Yes, my boy! But only one on a planet at a time. And you give presents to make them happy. How do you get about without being seen? With my coat, you inquisitive little Sontaran. <laughs> it enables me to travel down the chimney of any size and shape without making a noise. Brilliant. It alters your molecular composition to enable you to pass down and reanimate you once you're in. Yes, exactly. So you see, no need to worry about me invading. <laughs> <laughs> and what about your red nose fellow, this Rudolph? Oh, him? We only use the nose as a light on foggy nights! Well, thank you for the information. It was very informative, yes. Maybe now you can have a minced pie. St. Nick? Oh, Father Christmas. Did you use your device to vanish? Are you up the chimney? Mm. Um, uh, hello? Chimney. Strax. Uh, Strax. What? What? Wake up. Boy, where is old St. Nick? You fell asleep waiting for him. You were dreaming. Come on, both of you. We have presents to open. Gifts to receive. I will be through momentarily. Thank you. Father Christmas. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to all! Oh, 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 oh.